Hey guys, it is Anaconda, and welcome to The Night Before My Wedding. A nice little tale about a lady and her wedding. So let's jump in. I remember the first time we met. Hang on, I think I forgot something. There we go. Hopefully that didn't break anything. I was in trouble with the local Yakuza, though it was a good one. Then he saved me. Kuno, the most infamous assassin around. Yeah, the other, I have literally have done quite a bit of these reading things and I don't mind them. I don't understand why he would do that, what he did, when I was just a nobody. He was a strange man, always aloof, yet so graceful in style. And by miracle, we fell in love. Well, that's pretty wholesome. It's tomorrow. Dear? Oh, well, that's kind of cool looking. What are you doing sitting out here so late? The gentle, deep voice catches your tone, attention, a tone, yeah, a tone, great job, dude. As Kuno enters your vision, slowly walking towards you from behind. Are you nervous? Maybe. You haven't changed your clothes yet? I signed to him. Kuno's hearing ability was damaged, so I have to use uh, JSL to communicate with him. So you have to use, like, this type of sound wave gets then? I just got, got back from work. And I see I'm not alone in that. He chuckled as he took a seat next to you. The cold air of the night brushing past both of you. I've been thinking about the first day we met. It was unusual. Gunnar lets out a laugh. It certainly was, wasn't it? Under no normal circumstances does one meet when they're being rescued for, from a kidnapper, after all. When you put it that way, it sounds even more weird. Heck, even getting reminded you're an assassin already gave me whiplash. Kuno let out a sigh. A gentle smile graced his lips as he looked out at the garden. Even still, I don't want to get reminded of that. I never really liked my job after all. Really? You don't? I never heard you talk about it. And if you guys like stories like these that has to do with narratives, I have another one that has to do with a goblin girl. That one is pretty good as well. I mean, I trust me, it's not dirty. It actually isn't. 100% clean. YouTube approved. Go check that out. But I don't like to muddle on things that I don't like. Plus, I just treat it like a minor inconvenience. My job, that is. Then what is your dream job? Kuno blushes at my word. He lets out a small amused chuckle at my question, making me confused. As cheesy as it sounds, you are going to make my dream job come true. What do you mean? Kuno chuckled more at my response. I've always wanted to be a house husband. Dude, you should hook up with that other dude. He knows the way of the house husband, dude. You guys would totally get along, honestly. And I'm sad because I can't continue the series because that dude who plays that guy is dead. I just, I like to just cook, clean, and take care of someone that I love. So when you proposed to me, I almost cried. Almost, you were creating a river. Laughter filled the house as the two of us as the two of us, yeah, I did it right, sighed. But the comfortable silence passed by us as we looked up at the sky. Say, I've always been curious about one thing, yeah? I gulped, not knowing if I should continue or not, as I'm afraid it might be a sensitive question. But after a while, I decided to bite the bullet, knowing him, he wouldn't mind. Then something happened to your hearing. I remember you were still able to hear on the first day we met. Ah. I nervously rubbed my hand as he stared at me as shock. Uh, maybe it really was a bad idea. You just don't have to answer. I thought it was... Oh, no, no, it's fine. I was just shocked since you were so straightforward. It's not a bad question, I promise. I sighed in relief as I scooped closer, letting him know I'm all ears. Well, the day... It was the day after I saved you. I had a mission. The target was someone politically powerful, so I had to prepare a lot in case something bad could happen. However, I didn't prepare enough. They had a bomb planted near in case I ever succeeded my mission and I'm sorry. No need to. I was careless and while I was lucky enough to get out alive, my eardrum sadly did not. But I don't really dwell on it much what happened. Happened and all I could do was continue living. Damn, that must have sucked, honestly. Wow, and you still managed to do all your future missions with your sensing of hearing? With your sense of hearing, I meant to say. Of course! I did get very thorough trading in case of accidents like these. I see. I sat there speechless. 
To lose a sense like that must be really tough. I honestly still can't, I even imagine it actually a few times. Like imagining myself unable to hear. And I realized that it'll be pretty sad because then you'll miss the beautiful sounds of the world. Honestly, because you can miss the nice sound of like, you know, a uh, campfire burning and stuff, birds singing in the morning or at night, uh, rain pittering pattering on like the wooden roof and stuff. Which is my all-time favorite, honestly, just hearing rain hitting stuff. It's just satisfying. And also, you definitely would need sounds if you want to hear people running towards you, you know, because people can run sloppily and you can hear them run towards you. So now, I also think it's also pretty dangerous. So people like them always makes me upset, because I hope that they do well. Anyways, I just got lost track, of course, ADHD. I sat there speechless, to lose a sense like that, yep, he's way more stronger than I am. You know, I really like winter. You know, I do too, dude. I love feeling the cold air more than the summer heat. Or the spring heat, I'm just gonna be honest. His voice snapped me out of my brooding as I lifted my head to look at him. Despite not being able to handle the cold, being able to stay warm with someone is an enduring- Oh, that's actually- yeah, that's what I was actually thinking about. Being with a loved one, closing up up next to the fire, you freaking out because your pant leg's on fire and you have to put it out. Good times. I hope we can do that tomorrow night. Yes, that'd be nice. Are you okay? Hmm? Oh, of course. I'm just thinking, I guess. There's just a lot of things that happen to you, and I just think about how you're still standing so strong, and I'm just... Kuno's warm hand on my face shuts my rambling off. My gaze met his as we stared at each other. You know, I actually am not as strong as you think I am. You know, it's true. Every time people say, you look like a strong dude, or dudes claim to be strong, we're not strong dudes. I'll admit it, as I did myself, I'm not a strong dude. I have a lot of flaws. And there's a lot of things I'm not strong enough with. And yeah, because I watched a scene of Bluey talking about ADHD and it made me cry, okay? Because that was understandable. I am a dude that has some weaknesses. And I don't freaking care if you call me a snowflake or nothing. It means that I'm a strong person myself for having a weakness. Because not everybody is, like, vul like, invulnerable. That's what it is. After that incident, someone tried to go after me, knowing that my hearing was permanently damaged after the mission. Till now, I'm really scared to go to sleep because I was afraid I won't be able to see another day. But then I met you, and I've been able to enjoy life again. If you're thinking that you're not strong enough or that you're not doing much, remember me, okay? Same to you, fellas. Remember Kuno. I gave him a closed eye smile. He was always so sweet. Of course. Good. Also, I'm afraid that something bad's gonna happen now. I don't know why. Things are pretty good. This is the day before the wedding, and I think something's bad's gonna happen. <laughs> it's just a weird feeling I have right now. And I don't like it. You are always so sweet. I'm sorry, Kuno, but I value my life way more. What the hell? I have no choice. They're going to kill me if I don't. Wait a minute. At least you're warm. Just not with anyone tonight. What the? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. What did she mean by that? On here. Let's read that again. You were always so sweet. Okay, that's what she says. I'm sorry, but I value my life way more. I have no choice. They were going to kill me if I didn't do it. At least you're warm. Just not with anyone tonight. Hold up. Let me break it down. Let me break it down now. I'm actually kind of clueless with this one. This game just left me clueless. Was there like other games connected to this now? Now I want to know. I got to find this creator and see if they made anything else. And if they don't, you can't just leave me like this. I want to see more. And if there is more, where is it? Because I'm now curious. This just like went a dark turn. 
so from my guess, there's two different things in my head. Either she has to marry him, so she has to be there, because she's being forced to, or the other part of my brain just told me, what if she's running away and she can't be with him, otherwise things are going to go down. That's like two different things I'm thinking about. Man, that's so interesting. I didn't expect it to just tease me like that. You asshole. And anyway, so this was the night before my wedding. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I knew I said it was short, but I didn't think it was this short. <laughs>